Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to look at another tutorial on software defined radio uh, using GNU Radio Companion and how we can use GNU Radio Companion. So basically these are tutorials related to GNU Radio Companion. So in this GNU Radio Companion tutorial, uh, we're going to look at one of the very basic examples that we normally find in any signal and systems book and which is how do we know that we have probably seen this picture a lot. This picture actually shows this particular picture that a square wave is made up of a lot of sinusoids. And when you add all of these up, according to Fourier series, uh, when you add a lot of these sinusoidals up, you will get to start getting this square wave. We have seen it multiple times in books, like you can see another picture like this, or you can also see something like this, that you have one component, then you have two component, third component, fifth component, seventh component, and eighth component. If you guys have seen it, this is what it is all about. This, this, this picture that we normally find, this picture, this picture we normally see uh, in in our textbooks. So let's let's do this. Uh, I have actually uh, so I have a flow graph of this, and let's actually look at it. So here is the GNU Radio Companion flow graph, which is actually making up a square wave. So I'm just going to go over this particular flow graph. So don't get confused uh, when you look at this particular flow graph. So the sampling rate that we have set for this, that number of samples a, a wave should have, is 256 kilo. As you can see it here, right here. This is our sampling plot right here. And so this is just the basic. So when you start GNU Radio Companion, the default sample rate is 32. So you can just double click on it and change it to whatever you want. Uh, number of samples mean number of point on that particular waveform. That's what I mean by number of samples. Then, we, so just like we saw, we know that a square wave is made up of a lot of sinusoids. And this is specifically in odd harmonics. So I've taken, so if you were to look at these signal, system, signal sources, which I just, you can just go here and you can do control F or command F and then type signal source and bring up this signal source like this and by double clicking on it you can change its format to cosine, sine, square, triangular and whatever you want and you can set the frequencies. As I told you in my previous tutorial if you see something that is underlined you can use a slider like a QT GUI range or a choose box or a radio button box to actually change it during runtime. So that's what the boxes is all about. So if you were to look at this box right here, uh, I have brought one, two, all the way up to 17. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are like eight different boxes. All right. So basically, I'm adding up eight sinusoids together to make up a square wave. If you were to look at the frequency of these boxes, it's 1K. So we're starting off with this. Uh, let me delete this. Uh, so we're starting off with 1K, then 3K, then, 4, then 5K, then 7K, then 9K, 11K, 13, 15, and 17K. So we're adding up all those hard harmonics. All right. Uh, this is just another box uh, that we normally pick up. This is just to set a value, like uh, something that is underlined. You can set up a value for it, and you can just simply start calling up this particular box, just like I showed you in my QT range. So what this box is doing is this. It's taking, so I have set up a variable here, right, uh, right here, which is frequency. All right, so I'm just calling it a frequency, and what I'm doing, uh, I'm, I just simply went here, and I got my choose, uh, uh, choose block from here. So if I do Command F, choose, so I'm just simply double click on it. This box will appear right here, and then then in this box, in option, in label, I'm using this particular variable of frequency where frequency is F. That's all I'm doing right now. All right. Then, so then the second box, I am multiplying that so second box I call in. I am multiplying this by three times F. So whatever my frequency is, which is 1K, I'm multi multiplying it by three. Now, if I were to look at the third box, 
I am taking a frequency which is 1k multiplying it by 5. If you were to look at it closer, this is multiplication, not x, and so on. So it's, it went up to all the way up to 17 x now when we say if you were to look at the Fourier definition if you add up all of these sinusoids that's why I have an adder block right here all right that's why I have an adder block because you're adding up all of these sinusoids the next is throttle block once you are looking at a signal uh, if you're not connected if you don't have any hardware connected so just throw in a throttle throttle block anywhere on the flow graph is perfectly fine so that's why we have a throttle block. Throttle block is the way to control the number of samples which is coming out. Your uh, your your PC is processing it. Next, this output is going to my uh, time sink. At the same time, this output is going into my frequency sink. Here, the default points. So you can just simply get. So basically, QT time sink means your oscilloscope, and QT frequency sink is your spectrum analyzer. So I'm using two input uh, uh, time sink and two input frequency sync. One of the output of these additions is going through thr throttle block and going inside of this and the second and also is going into my frequency sync. So all of these waves that you see they are just bunch of sinusoid. I'm taking another signal source which is also 1k and that is also connected to it. Now this this particular one is not a sinusoidal wave it's actually a square wave. Why? To show you a comparison just like you saw on internet uh, hold on a second just like you saw it here i want to show you this particular comparison where i have a square wave which is perfectly perfect square wave but when i start adding up these sinusoids you can see this effect that's why i am also in my flow graph if you were to look at it that's why i'm also looking at a, a square wave now you might be asking, what the hell is this multiply constant block? I am using this multiply constant block. So this is just the same value, which is just 1k. All right. This is 1k. So the default value that I have set for this is 0. The reason I'm using it, I'll show you. In this, it's quite clear. So now when I look at this, the default value is 0. This is 3 times, oh, sorry, not this. I'm uh, looking let's let's look at the second constant block. So what I'm doing is this whatever the value in this box one is which is 3 times f 3 times f is going to be 3k and multiply that by 1 divided by 3 multiply that by 1 divided by 3 and 3 and 3 will cancel 3 and 3 will cancel and you just get 1. So basically it's the way to to turn on uh, to 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 show you this I'll show you what I mean by this I think it will be more clear so you can see this same thing I have done it uh, with all the boxes so default value is 5 times X which is 5 5 5 K so if there is 5 right here and the bottom there's 5 5 and 5 will cancel out you will just get 1 K so same thing so now let's run this flow graph and quickly look at it boom and here we go so now this is exactly what i wanted to see where does this square wave is coming from this is actually coming from this you see this this the output of this is going into that geo uh, time sink and the same output is all also going into my frequency sink so that's why you're seeing the fourier transform of this square wave signal right now there's nothing there there is no sinusoidal wave which is there now when i press f now i start seeing 1k of signal when i press this i would get 3k of signal when i press 5 i get 5 times x so i'm seeing the fifth one now if you were to clearly see here when i'm increasing the frequency individual components are being highlighted this is actually taking the fourier transform of the square wave which is this but as soon as I start adding component, these green line, blue lines are actually highlighting which of the components are there. So if I were to look at this, this is the fifth component. That's why it's 5 kilohertz. It should be 5 kilohertz. But I'm not putting it, I'm not marking it exactly. This is 3 kilohertz. This is 1 kilohertz. If you're getting it, what I'm trying to say here. So this is how a signal would look like. Now if I add 7, I start seeing it is getting a shape. 
9, 11, 13, 15, 17. So all of these components are being highlighted here. Now it's sort of becoming like a square wave. This is just like we are used to seeing it on, in, in our textbooks. This is what's going on. So I just want you to visualize this. Now what will happen? In order for me to clearly understand this, what's going on? Why don't why why am I using multiply constant block? I should have just directly connected this and with this. Let's do this now. When so let's disable this. So basically, I don't. Why do I need this multiply constant block? I think it would it would be more clear once I show you the demo. Okay, now let's. So I just disable this. I can just directly connect it to my add block. Why am I doing it? Okay, now let's look at it. If I don't do it, I don't have a capability of choosing a button. If I don't have this multiply constant block with the value that I've selected here as being a default value of zero, it means this, this button is actually useless. It would default, it, it would be, by default, it would show me a sinusoidal wave. But I want to have this provision where I can select these boxes as as I want uh, to turn on and off so I can exactly see the addition of these sinusoidal waves. I hope uh, if I'm right, uh, I hope you're understanding this. See, if I don't do this default value to be zero and, 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 and do all of this where I am, where I am taking this GUI three times X, which is this box, so which is 3k divided by 1 over, this is just basically showing having a state of 1, it's mean that I have this on off provision where I can add, uh, when I can turn on my 3k signal, when I turn off my 3k signal. So now, if I, if I just make a direct connection from here to here, and just disable this block, now let's see what happened. Now, both of these are automatically turned on. These these components are automatically there. F component and three component. Now, now I'm just simply adding all the rest of them. I hope you're getting it. And it's actually playing around with the amplitude too. So, so that's the reason I have it uh, connected like this. So I hope you understand this small tutorial on how my book signal, how do I actually generate a signal like this, which is normally fine normally found in any signal and system books which actually uh, uh, shows us that these are indeed made up of a lot of sinusoids i can clearly visualize this using a flow graph like this so i hope uh, you like this small tutorial on gun radio if you have any questions leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel